Welcome back, guys. This is going to be our daily cryptocurrency market update. We're going to be getting into the cryptocurrency markets in this one, as we do every single day, around about 1 p.m. UK time. Um, and yesterday we did a video with a similar kind of intro talking about the fact that it was indeed the day of the CPI data reveal for the US. And we said that, look, a high um, reveal is going to be bad for markets. And it indeed was initially. And then markets actually closed up in the green, as I believe many people were counter trading this. And also, you had a real short squeeze. People were entering the shorts at the wrong position. We were short. Um, and when I say we, I mean me and my Patreon members in the group were short into the print, which is a little bit of a risky move because you don't know what the print's going to be. But you also have risk management to kind of deal with um, anything unexpected. And markets indeed did did indeed rebound. Um, and we're going to get into that in this video. We'll be diving into the charts, really taking a look at yesterday and what happened. But I'm going to kick things off before we get into the technicals with a little bit of news because there's a lot going on. Um, we'll talk about the whole CPI print and what this means. It's not the actual CPI print that's the issue. It's what comes as a result of it. Okay, this is why the move was so um, aggressively counter traded yesterday. This is the big news for me right now, the fact that Celsius has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The troubled crypto lender says its purpose for the voluntary action is to enable comprehensive restructural plans that benefit all stakeholders. This is an issue because they hold a lot of crypto still on their books. And they are, in my opinion, one part of bankruptcy is um, a typically a liquidation of the assets held um, within a certain company or, or, or whatever it may be within a fund. And we had also touched on the fact that they had actually moved 50% of their Cardano from their stake pools to a, uh, a wallet. And I think that they're going to have to sell the cryptocurrencies that they have in order to repay um, investors, repay you know users. And I think that's going to be a big sell pressure on the market. And this is the problem with the kind of market that we're in. It is very much dominoed up in the sense that, you know, Three Arrows Capital, we had Luna, which really started this whole contagion, and it's just continuing to spread. And it's not just, this isn't just a cryptocurrency market issue. I mean, if we look at JP Morgan Chase, and we had said, look, guys, it's a big week, not only because of the CPI, because you're going to get lots of data revealed. I think PepsiCo actually were, had done quite well in their um, quarter, on, uh, qu quarter earnings. Um, but JP Morgan Chase, which is one of the largest banks in America, so second quarter profits fell by 28% after building um, reserves for bad loans. So this is the problem. Everybody's quick to lend out money and liquidity in a kind of booming bull market. But when, you know, things go south, often those loans will fail. Things People will end up in negative equity. We'll have the likes of Celsius taking place. We'll have the likes of the Luna fiasco, three hours capital. And this really is contagious. And this is what I think we've got a lot more of coming the second half of this year. I think the second half, I don't think we're going to sell off necessarily, you know, another um, 71%, but I do think that the contagion really spreads here. And you're at this kind of pivotal moment where we still do have an area of support here, and there is actually one just above us, and we're consolidating. You break this, guys, you know, you've got this kind of area here to look at um, um, in terms of, you know, a, a kind of, void, if you will, that we could quite easily slip below. And this is why we're the majority cash. We've been saying this for months now. We weren't the first out of the market, but we got out more, certainly sooner than quite a few people um, out there and really changed our bias in direction, um, having kind of looked at what we were doing wrong um, and, and you know, reshifting. Let's talk about a little, a little bit about the CPI print. Inflation rose to 9.1% in June, even more than expected as consumer presses intensify. The consumer price index increased to 9.1% for from a year ago in June, um, above the 8.8% um, expected. So we looked at this yesterday and we said, look, even 8.8 would have been bad. Anything higher than the previous, so the previous one for May was 8.6, is bad news. And... 9.1 really blew it out of the bloody water. Now, the thing for me is I actually reckon we're probably going to get a lower CPI print now. So July, if you look at your commodity price in July, they've come down significantly. But the problem with that is, and we're going to be monitoring this situation continuously, is 
people will probably take that as a as a as a buy signal, even though what people don't and they fail to realize is markets are all about liquidity, and liquidity is going to continue to get drained. Because even if it comes out lower, they're still going to do interest rate hikes. They're now talking about a 1% interest rate hike this month. You know, we're going to get the FOMC where they're going to do the hike. Um, I think it's the 26th of this month that we're currently in. Um, that is going to, if they do 1%, markets are going to react really badly because it takes more liquidity off the table. It bolsters the dollar strength. You know, we've spoken about all these things of nauseam on this channel. Uh, and certainly with my Patreon members, they're a consistent um, topic of discussion because they impact markets and they impact my trading they impact my investing um and so on and so forth and you can see markets are coming off today let's talk about actually what happened on the cpi print because i mean it was annoying but at the end of the day guys i don't control markets i can think markets are going to go down and they could go and do the opposite it's not for me to decide that um but we had essentially said that we were going to fade these long traders mainly on twitter that are also pushing all their followers into the same kind of situation because we were retesting the trend line. We then had a huge dip. And then we retraced a lot of the move and actually closed up higher for the day. Didn't doesn't make a lot of sense on on, on the kind of when you really weigh up the, the whole situation. But regardless, um, this is what the market's telling us. You know, it's telling us that we were initially wrong. We were right and then wrong. But eventually you will come back down here, guys. There's no shadow of doubt in my mind that eventually, you know, Bitcoin goes lower. I could be wrong, but I just don't think I am. And I'm very confident that I'm not actually. Um, and, you know, ultimately, I think crypto and the reason we're cash heavy is because we think you're going to get lower cryptos across the board. There's no reason Bitcoin doesn't go to 15K. This is something that we've been saying for a while. Well, you know, one thing that we uh, have spoken about is the euro dollars. We keep a really close eye on that. And yesterday, one of the reasons Bitcoin actually had this kind of up leg along with markets is because apparently it was leaked that the Fed weren't going to do a 1% basis point rate hike. How do they know that? How does that person know that? You know, and this is why you've got to be careful trading news, but you also need to pay attention to it based on your positions. Certainly, if you're trading with leverage, you know, you want to really mitigate whatever damage comes your way. Um, but it's a really interesting time to be alive. I love being in these markets. These are painful markets for most people. But if you're profitable in a market like this, and this is hard market conditions, it's not the easiest trading in the world. You're beating the majority. You don't want to be involved in the herd. And I did say down here, um, obviously not on YouTube, but elsewhere, that the problem you've got is too many people are short here. Way too many people are short here. And what they should have done was waited. You know, this is a, a line that's held for a while now until you got the confirmation that it was a break, a retest, and then you look to enter rather than entering right here, because that provides the perfect territory for markets to take money from you. What people have got to realize with markets, we've had it so easy from March 2020 onwards, but markets inherently are designed to take money from one another. I'm trying to take money from you and you're trying to take money from me. And that happens um, in the kind of over the course of a trade. Talking about the long term sort of view, not long term, because I'm very bullish on crypto. You know, I believe blockchain is a technological revolution. It's going to change all our lives. We're going to be using it without even knowing we're using it, just like we're talking on the internet right now over a computer, et cetera, et cetera, things that we've gone over on this channel. Um, but in the sort of short term, Celsius are going to become an issue because they are going to, and it's, it's really interesting this and kind of count, count, contra, contradictory because they were paying off all their loans. Now, did they do that out of good faith and, and didn't file for bankruptcy? before that beforehand meaning they wouldn't have to pay off the loans probably um which is a good point but the fact that these guys are going bankrupt for, for stakeholders and for individuals that own celsius or, or took part in the platform that that you know their money is trapped this is really bad it's horrible to see this because at the end of the day real people get hurt just like even though i'm sure even though i'm cash position and markets are going down and they're going in my favor I take no pleasure out of a 9.1% inflation because it, it even affects me. That's bad for me. That's bad for you. That's bad for everybody. It's robbery because your wealth is getting whittled away. If your wage hasn't gone up by 9.1%, well, you just got a lot poorer because everything else has. You know, and this is what pisses me off. Uh, and this is why I'm such a fan. Even though I'm not a Bitcoin maxi, I'm very much a fan of Satoshi's vision and a believer in it. This was from JP Morgan Chase. Um, we said earnings are going to affect things. This, I think, is probably going to play into the stock market um, today. You know, stock market also was counter-trended. 
I closed a lot of shorts last night. Going to get back in them today at some point. Just simply because this wasn't a hard close for me that kind of signaled that I should be holding shorts overnight and taking that extra risk. Um, it really wasn't, you know. Um, the issue you've got now is, you know, we look at the UK markets, we look at the Asian markets, which aren't actually doing that badly. Um, you know, I think I think really today you could get a spill. Doesn't mean it's going to have to happen and always make sure that if you're going to try and trade an event like that, you um, have good risk management, which most people don't have. Um, I see the kind of risk people takes on each eat take on each trade. To me, it's just gambling at that point. So today's going to be interesting. You know, we had some pretty severe price movement. It was a hard trading day, to be honest. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm the best trader in the world. And I aced this. I didn't. Um, but we closed profitable. And that's the main thing. You're making money in these kind of markets. You're, you're beating the crowd. Um, and that's what we try and sort of teach. Um, but ultimately, for me, it's a matter of time before crypto rolls again. Um, i already seen the people saying we're never going to break 19K again and all this stuff. Put your money where your mouth is on that. You know, I am. Are you guys? You know what I mean? And, and, and one thing that I think most people should be that watch crypto content is investors, not traders. Because it's the easiest thing to do. Um, in, in, it's not an easy thing to do at all. Investing's never been an easy game necessarily. Um, or it has for the past 40 years, really. What am I talking about? If you look at markets, you could have just bought them and held over that time period, just like housing. But um, with investing, just, just wait, you know, for prices to come a little bit lower and then maybe, you know, start to dip your toes again and then... Ultimately, things do recover, but it really depends on the macro situation. And more importantly, it depends on liquidity, which is a, a you know, really low point at the moment and going to get even lower. Well, to me, that determines and tells me that your markets have got lower to go. So that's really all we've got for you on this video, guys. Hopefully, it's not too doom and gloom. Watch the Celsius news because this is, this is really bad. Um, and I think this is going to cause more sell pressure onto markets. Um... You know, and it's kind of one of them things that you can't avoid now that they're going into bankruptcy because it gets taken out of their hands. They have to give the proceedings over to a structural officer that will, um, you know, proceed with the bankruptcy and, and part of bankruptcy typically is liquidation. All I've got for you in this video, guys, if you've enjoyed the content, a like is always appreciated. So as a comment, and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next YouTube video. For anybody who wants to check out my Patreon, there's a link in the description. And I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.